It's not just homes that are damaged. Many cars were left abandoned in the flood waters as well, leaving some people with no way to get around. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz has that story from Westlaco as we continue our team coverage. With the water, the water got high. It was like this high. Only remnants of rainwater is left in Jose Sanchez's front yard, but he fears the flood will cause a long-lasting problem for his car. The water got in in the car, in the engine. He says for now his car is still drivable, but other people in Westlaco weren't so lucky. There's a lot of customers coming in and out. Gracie Velez had a busy Monday morning in her Westlaco used car shop. She says drivers, like those who had to be rescued from the flood water on the frontage road Saturday, came to her in desperation. They're inquiring because they're in need of a vehicle. They're completely stranded with nothing to drive. If your car is in a total goner, AAA recommends having a trained automotive expert take a look at it. And keep in mind, flood water damage to your car isn't just a risk right now. It can also be a risk if you're planning to buy a car in the near future. Flood damaged vehicles can be shipped anywhere for resale, but they often continue to appear in the marketplace for up to a year after a major flood. To avoid being duped into buying a flood damaged car, Velez recommends always checking a vehicle's history. You need to make sure that you're driving a safe car out there, okay? Make sure it's a clean title. You want to know the history of the vehicle itself. In Westlaco, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. City and county officials also remind the public not to drive through flooded areas, not just for their own safety, but to avoid damaging their vehicles as well.